I'm going to commit a radical act. I'm going to speak the truth. We should stand for our national anthem. Marriage is a holy covenant before God. An unborn child is a child. Children do best when they're raised by a mother and a father. The Wuhan virus came from Wuhan. And there is a difference between boys and girls. I want you to pause and think for a second that just a few years ago, every one of those statements would have been utterly uncontroversial and blazingly obvious even to the most dim-witted among us. And today we're at a moment where saying those words can get you canceled. Saying those words can get you fired. Saying those words can get you erased. And I'm here today with two very simple messages. Number one, we need to defend America. And number two, a word of optimism. Revival is coming. We are seeing an assault on our nation, an assault at a level never before in the history of this country. All of the foundations of this country are under assault. The Constitution is under assault. The Bill of Rights is under assault. Our founding fathers are under assault. The eternal principles America was built on are being attacked each and every day. And the left is like the Terminator. They never sleep. They never stop. Their soulless have no heart, no brain, and red eyes. Their trick, they want to convince the men and women here, they want to convince patriots across the country that when you think obvious truths, that you're alone, that nobody else thinks that. They control the airwaves, they control media, they control journalism, they control education, they control Hollywood, they control culture, and they try to tell us nobody else thinks like you do. There's a corollary to that, which is the greatest trick the left has ever played, is to convince millions of Americans we are alone and that the American people aren't with us. What they're doing is wrong and it's built on a pile of lies. You know, Andrew Breitbart once said, politics is downstream from culture. Politics is culture. If you want to hold on to your faith, if you want to hold on to your freedom, then you have to rise and answer the call to defend America. The numbskulls in the media will say, see, it, it's a call to, to, to violent action. No, you nimwits. A call to rhetorical arms, a call to be prayer warriors, a call to organize, a call to mobilize, and a call to go to the ballot box and use your arms to vote the bums out. The patriots across America who love our nation, who reject the stinking pile of lies that the left is selling. We need to wake up, we need to energize, we need to engage, and let me tell you, we can win, and we will win. Earlier this year in South Lake, Texas, a suburb of Dallas, South Lake School Board had implemented a curriculum where they were teaching critical race theory. Now, what is critical race theory? You know, I had a, just this week on Capitol Hill, I had a reporter run up to me. He thought he, thought he had a gotcha. He said, hey, what's critical race theory? Apparently, he thought I would turn to him and say, gosh, I have no idea. I think it's really bad, but I just don't know what it is, you know, because, you know, conservatives are morons and we don't know what we're talking about. <laughs> like, he really did think this was such a boy. I ain't really got you there. 
And I explained to him, I said, well, it's a theory that derives from Marxism. Karl Marx viewed the entire world as a conflict between classes, between the owners of capital and the working men and women, the proletariat, a fundamental battle in society. Critical race theory takes that same Marxist concept, except it replaces class with race. And it says all of America and all of the world is a battle between the races. Critical race theory says every white person is a racist. Critical race theory says America is fundamentally racist and irredeemably racist. Critical race theory seeks to turn us against each other, and if someone has a different color skin, seeks to make us hate that person. And let me tell you right now, critical race theory is bigoted, it is a lie.